battlefield of eternity. Koro, Tankerfee, Tarkum, Krugluk, Sportbilly, Rizumax, Platypus, Smexy, and Bill. All right. Utherban. What do you think about the current situation of the Haka? I think he's strong, grabs us. A lot of movement speed, high auto attack damage. Uh... A pretty good stun and drag displacement, good survivability, good sustain heal and burst protection with burrow and adaptation. He's not easy to optimize, not easy to play optimally, but I think he's very strong. He's still got global, still got good wave clear. <laughs> Anyone order a one can you show Lurgan? Yeah, I can show. This realm needs me. Who would you rather choose, Sylvanas or Nazebo? They they are very different. They are almost as opposite as they can be. Sylvanas loves early game advantage and capitalizes on it wins games fast nazebo is the opposite he doesn't hate early game advantage who does but he's very much a late game hero let's try to tread water until we can instead of swimming drive a submarine hey Kobe, do you think nova can be viable with her current kits uh, there is no reason to take Nova over Zara. None. Except easier to play. So can she be viable? Yeah, she can. She can win games. But do I expect to see her at mid-season brawl in five days? No. I thank you. Do you like Hanamura two-lane maps at all? I know number one who likes Hanamura so far. I'm not a big fan of Hanamura either. Need some changes. N Nova's range, Zara's not. Please explain. Nova has 100% move speed when revealed. Has no escape except the inexperience and confusion of their opponents. Zeratul has three teleportations. Nova has a slow on W, so does Zara. Is Valira viable? It's the same thing. She's worse than Zeratul. You said I love Hanamura yesterday. Yeah, I was lying. No, I was trying to oh, uh, convince myself. Because uh, there's no point hating them. I, stand I tend to play with so many bad players. I always try to adjust my game and analyze what I did good or bad after each game. So I do what I can to improve, but I feel like I'm stuck in this gold era. Um, let me answer you in a sec, Jelly Belly. Thank you very much for the donation. Um, there is no point for me to dislike a map because I cannot veto any maps. I cannot thumb it down. So where would I really be after I'm sure that the map is not good? So I try to mind game myself that I like it, that I need to find a way to win the map, to that instant bribing the hard camp with 7000 HP is a good mechanic with 40% heal. I think there's a lot to be criticized about that map, but I'm trying to find a consistent way to win it. It's not really working per se. But it's better to try. We cannot veto. Uh, so, how do I get out of gold rank? Uh, winning more than you lose. I feel like I'm stuck in this gold era. That is possible. And I always try to learn after each game what I did good or bad. That's also good. I tend to play with so many bad players. That's a fact. And also against bad players. That is the really brutal sh long and short of it. 
But what you're really trying to ask is, how do I improve faster than my opponents and allies? That is the real question. And the best way to do so is to get extra good at a smaller roster of heroes. Eternal flex is eternal variance. Prepare eternal filling for people that maybe don't uh, you you know, play their role as well. Complementing uh, your damage dealer with Tassadar when maybe they don't pl play up to scratch. So, uh, focus on few heroes. Make sure they have wave clear so that you can do that by yourself. Battle and improve at those. Ten and then, uh, I do believe that you can promote. And also, of course, Five, manage your mentality. Four, so don't... Three, uh, two, one. I go echo pulse. Let the battle begin. Manage your mentality so that when you feel frustrated, you take a break. Who is a good laner versus Sonya on Braxis? Tychus. A hero has fled from the battle. How unexpected. Hammer is just turning to a bot. Ah, she's back. Good. Auto attack Probius build, please. Yeah, that doesn't exist. No problem. One more thing I noticed. I think you mentioned it before. There is so much blame right now that when you really give someone a compliment, they feel attacked. BTW, take my money. You keep up the good work. Wow. Thank you very much, dude. Much appreciated. Choose a talent. Having trouble hitting your cues? Yeah, it's hard to hit people that don't want to get hit. You should try playing Grandmaster. Megalol. <laughs> hey, let me read it again later, uh, uh, Jelly Belly. I'll try. Um, I'll get Shield Capacitator. Dead 
Come on, nice auto attack damage. Aye, 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 aye. Thanks for the tips. One more thing I noticed. I think you mentioned it before. There's so much flame right now that when you give someone a really good compliment, they feel attacked. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I did mention that before. People are afraid of insultiments. Hey, Probius, you're really good. Ah, thanks, man. At sucking and dying. Oh. Like, it's it's a bit too common because of people's sarcasm, but... Yeah. Oh, well. Insultiments, I call them. Now we get particle accelerator. I arrive a bit late. Oh my, it's not already. Pump the enemy slain. I like how a hammer just stays sieged. Five mines? No. Missed out on some damage. Enough. 
They got it, but we defended pretty long, lol. Say we slay that one next. Okay, we kill that one next. Who killed me? Final hit, Li Ming, or what? Our fort has been destroyed. BFG, yeah. <laughs> we got next city place. Okay, he took the wrong out. Twilight Dream. Oh yeah, we need a tranquility, of course. Well, we got Robogobo. Next time, uh, Robogobo is gonna slay the boss. Excessive force? Resistant? Oh, that's why. Because he has resistant. That's why he's staying in one place. Just in case it's here. That's good.
Choose a talent. Wow. <laughs> Fanatic strats from uh, mid season brawl. Oh yeah, we won the race. Can't leave the safety, that's true. Damn, that hungering arrow. Too bad that ETC didn't uh, soak this wave. There's a giant wave here. Our enemy has destroyed a fort. Pity. That ETC is Breeze, Pay yeah. But I, th I still think attack. he should have soaked the top wave. Ah, Punoko. Why is Tranquility better here? I never know when. Um, because uh, we are not a hard engage comp. We have zero Our engage, only defense, so Twilight Dream is very end. unlikely to get good value. If we're gonna infinitely poke at each other, MVP. might as well have neither heroic, I guess. But, uh. No, I don't think he... I think he got, we got one good Twilight Dream off. It's not ideal. That was amusing anyway. Uh, you, you know, you can see how this could have worked. You can see how this could have worked. Even though we had no kills, we did okay in XP. I don't know why. I guess trickle XP. And... Uh, and... Uh, oh. 
maybe Brightwing would have been more useful for us? Or Lucio? It was still fun, but didn't work out. Yeah, we need a split soaker, but... How do you split soak while not losing the defense? Yeah, I, actually, Twilight Dream was still probably the correct choice. I think you're right, Violent Light, because it still gives mana increase. In the new patch, it doesn't anymore, but it still does. <laughs> a good strike. <laughs> ah, explosive barrier, feel the heat. That was probably my coolest Zarya moment ever. 